For those unfamiliar, Zoho Workplace is essentially Zoho's version of productivity suit, much like Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. It bundles apps like email, document editing, cloud storage, spreadsheets, and communication tools. Zoho has tried to create an ecosystem where businesses can handle everything from internal communication to document collaboration, all under one roof, also providing apps for mobile platforms. The user interface is pretty clean and simple. Personally, I didn't have a steep learning curve when transitioning to Zoho Workplace from Google Workspace. Apps are organized neatly in a dashboard and everything is accessible with few clicks. What I appreciate most is that the design is straightforward, no unnecessary clutter, whether writing an email in Zoho Mail, working on document, or having a chat in Zoho Click. The navigation feels intuitive. And because all the apps are integrated well, we can jump from one app to other seamlessly. However, it does feel like there are some areas where the interface could be more modern. It gets the job done, but it's not as sleek as some of the other productivity suits like Google or Microsoft. It's functional, not that flashy. One of the core tools is Zoho Mail, and I have to say it's pretty solid. I was able to set up the custom domain for email easily, and Zoho Mail handles day-to-day -day emailing quite efficiently. You can also check out the tutorial that I made from the top right corner. Now, what sets it apart from other email clients is its integrated streams feature. It feels almost like social feed where you can tag colleagues, comment on emails and collaborate on tasks directly within the inbox. That said, there are moments when Zoho Mail can feel a bit slow, especially when you're managing a large inbox. But overall, it offers a lot of functionality without feeling overwhelming, especially for business users. Next, we have Zoho Docs, Sheets and Writer. Basically, their version of Google Docs, Sheets and Microsoft Word. One thing I liked here is that you can collaborate in real time. Whether you're co-editing a document or working on a presentation, the experience feels pretty seamless, making it easy to store and share files with your team. The collaboration aspect across these apps is smooth, but I wouldn't say it's groundbreaking. If you already use Google Drive, the transition to Zoho won't blow your mind, but it does work well as expected. Zoho Click is their answer to apps like Slack and Microsoft Teams. It's an internal messaging platform with channels, direct messages, and file sharing. I found it easy to use, and the integration with other Zoho apps like Mail, Docs, makes it convenient for quick communication with colleagues. Another app worth mentioning is the Zoho Meeting. If your team uses a lot of video conferencing, this will be useful too. Zoho Show, on the other hand, is their alternative to PowerPoint or Google Slide. It's a good tool for making presentations with lots of templates and customization. Now, pricing is where Zoho Workplace shines. The basic plan starts at just $3 per user per month, which makes them one of the most affordable productivity suits on the market. Even the professional plan, which offers a lot of advanced features, costs just $6 per user per month. And by using the affiliate link in the description, you can get $100 of free credits to use on Zoho. If you are on a limited budget, then you can have a look at Zoho Mail free plan that accommodates up to 5 users or other Zoho Mail only plans. You can try that from the description too. After gradually exploring other Zoho apps, I felt it's a great service and a good competitor for Google and Microsoft. Comparing the pricing, Zoho comes out looking very budget friendly. I would say Zoho Workplace is perfect for small to mid-sized businesses that are budget conscious but need a solid set of productivity tools. It's great if you are looking to manage business communications, file sharing, and collaboration all in one place without breaking the bank. It might not be the best option for large corporations or teams, in my opinion, that need super advanced features, but for most business needs, it covers all the bases. However, that's it for today. Again, if you want to check it out, then you can do so from the description below, and you can take the advantage of credits to try the products first before committing. Now, if you want to see the tutorial on how to set up Zoho Mail, then there you go. And if you are looking for 5 TB of cloud storage for $10, then there you go. Again, if you have any doubts or thoughts, you can leave them down below in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.